My name is Steve Beck. I head up a group that uh, makes sure that all the research uh, happens at the Virtual Global Research Group. Uh, gets put into software and is useful. Uh, a daunting task, actually, uh, considering that uh, uh, it's been going on for eight years now and there's a lot of research going on. Uh, very extensive, very broad range, broad, broad range of research going on in facilities. I'd like to talk about the future of what we're going to do. Uh, for us, the game changer, the thing that sets us apart, the, things that, the, the thing that makes a difference is that we create mathematical models that predict motion, predict forces required to produce that motion, and predict the physiological changes in the body based on, the, on producing the forces to produce the motion. So it's a, it's a pretty big problem. So, uh, we're, we're coming a long ways. Um, this is a mathematical model of running. And uh, this is what we're going to be working on. Now, as Dr. Busick said, the reason for a mathematical model, the beauty of a mathematical model, is that you can make changes to parameters and see the difference. So in this particular case, what we've done is we've reduced the range of motion of the right knee, and we're looking at a gait based on a reduced range of motion of that right knee. You can see the effect. We also have the forces that are associated with that motion. In this one, we put we placed an asymmetric load on his body. Obviously, that weapon weighs a lot more than it really does, but just for uh, just to make sure that it's obvious what's going on here, we now have a predicted walk that's showing you what happens if you have a lot of weight on one side of your body. So once again, a mathematical model that you can do cause and effect, uh, what, if, what if changes. In this particular case, we're talking about a, a backpack. It's the same mathematical model for walking. What we've done is we put a backpack on his back and we're looking at the, the result of that 20 pound pack. In this case, all we've done is we've changed the weight of the backpack from 20 pounds to 80 pounds and we see the result. We don't, have to, we don't have to modify the algorithm, we just make the change in the, in the software. In this particular case, we've got a box that doesn't weigh very much. And here, we, we, we change the weight of the box so it weighs a significant amount more and you can see the change in what the avatar does. So going forward, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be focusing on these mathematical models. We want to make them more flexible. We want to make them so that the user can eventually make changes to these. We want a single, ultimately we would like a single mathematical model that you can make do anything. That's a ways down the road. But in the meantime, we're going to make them faster. We're going to make them more robust. We're going to make them usable by other people. Um, in addition to that, as Dr. Busick had said, we're, we're also uh, looking at uh, creating this abstract layer around our software that allows our software to work with other, other software. Um, just as everyone else here says that the need for software to be integrated with other, other packages is clear. Nobody's going to be expert in everything, and we need to make sure that we can work with everybody. So it's, it's those two things that represent the future of what we're going to do. And uh, I look forward to working with each of you uh, on that. 